Good afternoon. Welcome to the 22nd annual Sea Otter Bicycle Classic up in Laguna Seca Raceway in Monterey, California. Uh, we're here under the sun and I will make note of the fact that it, it is the sun this year. There's no rain. It's awesome out. And we're going to spend the next few hours of each day going from booth to booth and looking at all the coolest new road bike stuff we can find and talking to personalities and giving you a taste of what the Sea Otter Classic is all about. Okay, now we're over at the Physique booth uh, talking to Steve, who's the product manager for the Physique shoes. That are all of them handmade in Italy, and no one better to talk about the Physique shoe than Steve Delacruz. Here he is. Hey, nice to see you. Nice to see you again, Zap. Yeah, with um, really with handmade in Italy, really what you're looking at is the craftsmanship. You want to look at the stitching. We really uh, went above and beyond. We wanted to make a shoe that really separates ourselves from the rest of the industry. Very much the DNA of Physique is to over-engineer. We're going to make something a little bit extra, but the straps are a sailcloth. A high-end sailmaker is going to use this fabric to make a racing sailcloth. So it's super durable. It withstands all the UV exposure. It's lightweight. It's not going to stretch. It's the perfect material. That's physique. We're going to go that extra mile and put that extra little bit in there. Kangaroo leather, really, it's a superior material. It's what a lot of uh, soccer boots are made out of, um, but it's super durable, super strong, takes a lot of abrasion. It'll scratch up and still hold it, its structure. It's, it, it's not going to fall apart and stretch out. Okay, right next door to Steve's Physique shoe booth is, of course, the Physique saddle booth. And we're here with Suzette, who's the brand manager for Physique saddles. And uh, most cyclists, of course, know about Physique saddles. They've been uh, one of the top saddles in the Pro Peloton for a couple years now. But they have a new saddle this year we're going to look at real quick. Suzette will tell us all about the uh, Curve saddle. Suzette, what about the Curve? What we did here was we took all of our technologies uh, from all the saddles we've made in the past and rolled it into one. Quickly, we've got the Wing Flex from the Arioni. We've got Twin Flex, uh, which we originally had in the Alianti, so the whole shell flexes. We've got um, back here our ICS uh, clip, and here we have our Cold Forge Aluminum Mobius rail, and this rail we first introduced when we had the all-carbon K1. So we took all these technologies, rolled it into one, and then we also added um, the nose tuner. So you can uh, take this uh, nose piece off and adjust the overall tension of the saddle, so you can tune your flex. Hey, we're over at the Industry 9 booth right now, and uh, they've been making road wheels for a few years. they got eight different wheels, but today they're going to show us the new I-25 tubeless wheel. It's a brand new wheel. Um, what about it? Uh, this is our uh, new addition to Industry 9. It's our first exclusive rim profile that we produced. And uh, what we did with this rim is we built on the uh, current industry trend of going to uh, wider rim profiles. And uh, this rim is 23 and a half millimeters wide. Wow and the inner width is 19 millimeters. So it's about six millimeters wider than the traditional road rim. That gives you a number of benefits. Uh, number one is that uh, under cornering loads, instead of having your, your tire pulled from side to side on the rim as you're going through a corner, keeps the, the tire really, really stable. It also allows you to run lower tire pressures, yeah. um, which offers a better ride quality and also slightly less rolling resistance as well because the tire, instead of bouncing off of every little in, imperfection in the road, um, to manage the stitches to be a lot more stable. We're now over at the PrimalWare Map My Ride BH uh, women's team camp and we're talking to probably the biggest luminary in all of the stinking sea otter today, Alan Lim, uh, the co-author and author and of the the cookbook he just we just uh, tested in Road Bike Action. He's been with all the teams. He's just the, he's a renaissance man. I love him. Here's Alan Lim to talk about Alan Lim. Uh, yeah, what do you want to know? You know, I was born in Davao, Philippines. I came to Southern California, learned how to ride a bicycle, and then made drink mix. Right. Yeah. So the drink mix is the newest new product out of the Allen Lim Inc. Incorporator, right? That's right. That's right. Well, it's actually uh, something we've been doing for a long time, but we just brought the, uh, the brand out, Scratch Labs, about two months ago, two and a half months ago. So it's relatively new, and we're here at Sea Otter to try to educate people and um, feed the primal women's team uh, and uh, let people know that we're here. Hey, 
Hey, so here we are cruising through the expo with the Sea Otter, 22nd annual Sea Otter that is. And who should we bump into but Nick Fry from Boo Cycles in front of the uh, Envy booth, which we're going to go to later on. But just real quickly, let's just talk to Nick about his sweet bamboo bike that he made. He raced at Batten Kill, he raced at Redlands, and uh, it's just a pretty wild looking bike. Nicky, what can you tell us about your bike? It's bamboo tubes, it's all custom, and it's well, hand-wrapped carbon. Yeah, hand -wrapped carbon fiber at the joints. And they're all handmade in Saigon and Vietnam by James Wolfe. And uh, I'm the only guy on the circuit racing a handmade bike, much less a bamboo bike. Yeah. So just you... trying to show that it's race worthy. Right. So this is like, it's the best bike I've ever raced on. Yeah. So I'm, I'm proud of it.